Hi everyone and welcome to a new video here at my channel. In this video we're going to be working on a writing bureau with Queen Anne style legs. This is a customer requested piece of furniture. I've sourced this piece. I got this via Facebook Marketplace and the only stipulation from the customer really was she wanted the style of legs to be the long Queen Anne style legs. So what I'm going to be doing with this is some of it's going to be restored, some of it's going to be restyled. Hopefully you'll enjoy the process, enjoy the end product and thanks very much for watching. I'd also like to say a massive thanks to everyone that's supported my channel so far. And if you're new to this channel and you feel like I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, then please click subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell for future videos. Thank you. Hi, I'm David, and I restore, restyle, and refinish old and loved furniture. I use a variety of methods and techniques to bring this forgotten furniture back to life. Welcome to my channel. This piece wasn't massively dirty, but I tend to clean all my pieces before I start anyway. And you are surprised with the amount of muck that comes off these at the end. So it's just part of my process and that's what I'm doing here. This piece didn't really need a lot of attention repair wise. I did notice when I picked it up though that the legs were cons you know, considerably looser than they should be. And on further investigation, the not only were the screws loose, but the actual glue underneath there had ju it just dried out and it was, it was stopping working. So remove the legs, scrape off the glue, re-glue them, re-screw them, simple as that. I've got another little helper this week, Trevor, the uh, the Shih Tzu. He's my sister-in-law's dog and we've got him for the week while they're on holiday. Uh, he appears later on in the video. Daisy's not particularly happy sharing the limelight, but uh, she's going to have to learn to share, uh, which she's not very good at actually. And poor little Trevor has faced the, uh, the wrath of Daisy a few times this week already. The draw pulls on this bureau were, were really nice. They are solid brass and they have a, a drop pull and a little back plate. So all I'm doing here is removing the drop pull, pulling that through. And the next step is to remove the, the little back plate. Now these are generally nailed on and I use a plastic scraper just so I'm not scratching up the, uh, the wood at the front or the veneer or whatever it is. So just waggle them about, get the screw to sort of lift slightly so you can get the pliers in and then just pull out with the pliers. The other hardware to remove on this piece of furniture was the hinges. There's two of those. And again, these were solid brass, just three screws on each side of the hinge. Just simply remove those, keep them to one side. The actual drop down itself had a, had a lock on. It wasn't brass, but it cleaned up okay. Further on in the video, you'll see how I, how I managed to do that. And the only other thing was a little key liner keyhole liner in brass so turn it over get a little punch and you can see there just the outline of the inside of the key liner so line it up with that 
little tap, not too hard, and just pull it out the other side. Sorry for the focus. <laughs> This was a bit of a pain to remove because it was nailed in, but I needed to remove this due to the design that I was doing. So just took me time and was as careful as I could be. I'm definitely a convert now to using paint stripper on certain pieces of furniture and that's ever since one of my viewers very kindly commented and advised me to use something called Paramo. So that's what I've used the last couple of times and I'm, I'm really impressed with it. It, it. it is, you know, it's the same as all of the strippers. It's a mucky job, um, it's a messy job, but it definitely, it definitely does the trick. And all I'm doing there is just using a bit of soapy water or my degreaser spray and water actually, just to neutralize one side, taking all the uh, all the old finish off. So that was the drawers, this is the front, same, same process really. I didn't leave it long enough here, you can see it's still sort of dragging. So what I did is I just added another coat, stripped it again and then neutralized it and it came out really well. The body of the bureau is simply getting a scuff sand and the reason for that is because it's going to be painted as part of the overall design. As you can see there I'm using an interface pad, just a little sponge pad for the shaped feet or shaped legs should I say, just so I don't flatten off that, uh, that rounded Queen Anne finish. No. I'd like to say a special thank you to one of my subscribers, Rhiannon, Rhiannon of the Wood, for supporting this channel through the Buy Me A Coffee app, specifically to buy Daisy some treats. Just to let you know, I've bought her some treats and I bought her a new toy, which she absolutely loves. Thanks, Rhiannon. I'm using a spray stain blocking primer on this piece of furniture mainly because it's just easier and there's a lot of crevices and corners and detail and also the legs are also curved it's just easy to do it and this primer actually dries really quickly so it's also a lot quicker process once the primer's dry just simply Sand it with some fine grit sandpaper just to get rid of all the dust nibs and just to flatten any texture out. I love this colour paint. It's called Pelt by Farron Ball and the customer also loves it fortunately. It's not to everyone's taste but I hope you'll be pleasantly surprised at the end of this video. Don't make your judgement yet as you see it under the LED lights in my shop. Please just wait for the end and hopefully you'll like it. And if you don't, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. I've done quite a few writing bureaus now, probably about eight. And I, I tend to do a contrast design inside. I don't paint the inside the same as the outside. And as you'll see, the thing that I took out earlier, the, the letter dividers, I tend to paint that the same color as the body of the outside. So. Oh, that makes sense at the end when you see it all staged and ready for your opinion.
Some of you may have noticed earlier on in the video that one of the support pulls was missing. I couldn't find a suitable replacement, so I decided to make some of my own using some old draw pulls. Just mark them up, cut them down and make two brand new ones. <laughs> the stain colour I'm using again is a, a walnut stain by Morels and it's an alcohol based stain. Just simply wipe it on, it, it pretty much dries in straight away, and just wipe off any excess. What I'm showing you here is there was a couple of blemishes on the veneer on the front. It, I think this has been refinished before, so it was quite thin, the veneer. So what I'm trying to do here is just use some furniture markers to blend in any damage to the veneer. I'd like to add a little bit of detail to my pieces and this is a great material to use. It's it's Liberon Gilt Cream and this is in a bright gold. Same as a gilding wax really. And you just simply apply it with your finger or with a brush and you can just leave it for 24 hours and it will fully harden and then you can just buff it off to a nice sheen. I just wanted to ask a favour of you all if I could. I'm obviously making these videos and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. I just want to make sure I'm on the right track. I'm getting a lot of comments about the the music's too loud, there's, there's too much music, there's not enough music, um, no daisy, more daisy. It's really difficult to know sort of what format to, to put these videos in. Uh, learning all the time and any comments you've got on the quality of my videos, the format, what you'd like to see me do, what you don't like to see, that would be really helpful. Thank you.
Thanks very much for watching this latest video and if you like it, please hit the thumbs up and if you like my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for more videos.